Well, outside it's raining, it's windy, and generally just unpleasant. But inside my van here, it's warm and cosy. So happy. I often hear people say to me, oh, winter's coming on now, it's not good for camping. No one's gonna want to buy a camping van. Well, actually, this is not true. When I first started building camping vans, it was in the winter. And everyone wanted a camping van. Every time I built a camping van, it would sell. People wanted a camping van in the winter. Why? Because, why not? They know summer is coming. Funny that, eh? Even in the winter time, you know, summer is coming. So people do like to plan ahead. They like to get prepared so they can be ready to enjoy the next summer. Oh, people don't go camping in the winter. Actually, this is not true as well. I know it's not true. Why? because I like to go camping in the winter. And 100% guarantee I'm not the only one that feels like this. Why do I like to go camping in the winter? The weather's rough, it's raining like it is today. You can't really enjoy outside very much. Well, here's some big news for you. A few years ago, someone invented a raincoat. <laughs> Amazing, yes. And someone else invented an umbrella. This means we now have the freedom to go outside when it's raining. We can go for a little bush walk with our umbrella or our little raincoat on and hat. And I've got to say, it's a wonderful experience. I actually like seeing the beach in the winter time. The waves are rough and the clouds look dark and threatening. Sometimes you see the sunbeams peeking through the clouds, breaking through onto the water, and it's really quite beautiful. You can really get some nice photography, some nice photos going uh, when you're at the beach and you see some of this rough, threatening weather. It actually is quite beautiful. And even the bushwalks, the, the water dripping off the leaves and the trees, and uh, everything just smells and feels so fresh and clean when there's been a bit of rain. So, I enjoy camping in the winter. In fact, when I'm in my little van sleeping and I can hear the wind and the rain outside, it is actually quite a nice feeling. I'm all snuggled up with a blanket and my pillow, and uh, it's nice and warm. Remember, because the van area is not a big area, it's not like heating your house. You've got to have all these gas heaters and air conditioning units all running. No, you don't need that. You just need some good pajamas, something warm to wear, a nice warm pillow and a nice warm blanket, and you're as snug as a bug in a rug. And it really is a nice feeling. Oh, but what are you gonna do during the day when it's heavy raining? Well, there's nothing wrong with sitting inside your van and doing something that people have done for centuries. What is it? It's called reading a book. Ha! Whoa! There's something new. Well, you know, usually we just look on our phone and play on our on our internet. Well, you can do that as well, but all day that gets a little bit boring. So why don't you try getting into a good book? I'm not a good reader. In fact, all my life I've been severely dyslexic. And that probably explains a lot of the typing and the spelling errors and some of my bad English on my YouTube channel. And I'm not a good reader, I am a slow reader, but I still enjoy reading. It doesn't matter if it takes me hours to get through you know, one chapter, it doesn't matter. 
I just read slowly and I can enjoy it. And it is a great way to pass the time of day on a wet and rainy day. There are other things you can do if you're out camping in the winter and you don't want to go outside. Maybe the wind is too horrible. You can read a book, of course, or you've got some power. You can do internet on your, on your laptop. I have power in my hands for the laptop. Or you can do something else, which people have done for centuries. And that is, of course, learn a musical instrument. Yes. Now, it's actually good for you to learn a musical instrument. It's good exercise for your brain. It's entertaining. The time passes. And it's actually fun. Obviously, you can't bring a, a piano with you in a little van like this. So why don't you find a little musical instrument that's quite small, easy to store, easy to carry, and put away. It doesn't take up much room. And uh, even if there's two, two of you going camping, you can both have one of these, or you can you can both have practice a, a musical instrument, learn something new. You don't need a book. You can actually turn on your phone and look onto YouTube, and there'll be lessons on YouTube on any instrument that you choose to carry with you. Maybe it's a little harmonica, a little mouth organ. Uh, learn to play. It is fun, and it's very good for your brain as well, actually, to have that kind of exercise and learn an instrument. Lately, I've been learning this teaching myself basically. Sometimes I look at the odd uh, YouTube channel that has the bamboo flute on there. If I'm stuck on something I'll go to YouTube and I'll have a look and try and fix the problem. And uh, But anything you want to learn as far as music uh, you can find on YouTube. So you can have a, have a few lessons and, uh, and then when you go away camping you can just practice the few little things that you've learned. So camping in the winter time it's still great fun. There's always plenty of things you can do. When the raining stops or it's not so heavy, you just put on a coat or a jacket and go out for a nice bush walk or a walk on the beach. It is a great experience. I love camping at the winter time. I'm not just saying that because I build vans and I want to sell more vans in the winter time. I actually do enjoy it. I've been out in some horrendous storms. The van is rocking a little bit and I can hear the wind and the rain. It's just a nice feeling and I've actually slept like a baby. It's beautiful. I, I like it. So with the bad weather, don't let it stop you from getting out in your van and traveling around, seeing the country and doing some camping. I can sit in here and I've got the windows up. Uh, the curtains all open, I can see the view, I can see the lovely scenery, I can see the beach, sit here and drink my coffee. It really is quite enjoyable. It's better than sitting in a little four rooms at home in a house somewhere. Uh, you're actually out and about seeing things. If you're at the beach, you sometimes see people on surfboards or, or windsurfing in the rough weather. It looks crazy to me, but people do it. And it's quite, quite enjoyable just to sit there and watch people uh, enjoying the water and um, some of the things they do at the beach. Still a long way to go with this, <laughs> uh, but it's fun. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care.